Welcome back. It's Max and Sons Parfum. Nice to see you today on my channel. Do you want to get lucky every day? If your answer is yes. Here's what it takes to get lucky every day. 1. Like this video. 2. Put a comment on what you like me to discuss on the next videos. 3. Subscribe and smash that bell. What are you waiting for? Do it now, it's a limited offer. Come on, do it. Do it. Alright. You'll see, you'll get lucky today. Let's get started. Perfume has had a glorious and sweet smelling past that dates back to the dawn of recorded history. The word itself is Latin and derives from per meaning through and fumin or smoke. Perfumes were originally meant to emulate nature's pleasant aromas. Natural oils were extracted from plants and became the main components of the perfumes of the ancient world. The oils were extracted, pressed, steamed, and then burned in order to scent the surrounding air. Now, years after the first whiff of a crafted scent wafted past the nose of a human, the art of perfume manufacturing has become a global multi-billion dollar industry, and the scientific process of making perfume has not only evolved but it's been refined and improved as much as any other industry in practice. This video of Max and Sons Perfume delves into the rich history of perfume creation and provides the ultimate industry guide to mastering the art of perfume manufacturing, from the process of extraction, aging, and all the ins and outs of developing a marketable, timeless scent. How Perfume Is Made A good perfume can be the finishing touch to your daily routine. When you put on perfume, you might not think twice about it because it often becomes a habit. However, there are many reasons why people wear perfume. Some people wear perfume because it boosts their self-esteem when a potential love interest notices the pleasant scent. Others enjoy wearing perfume because it promotes their individuality, it sets them apart from everyone else. A few people wear perfume to mask unpleasant smells. The scent of perfume can also help you recall certain memories or lift your mood. Regardless of the reason why you wear a specific fragrance, understanding how perfume is made might help you appreciate that pretty little bottle and pleasant fragrance a little more. The ingredients, before the manufacturing process can begin, there are many raw materials that must be gathered. In addition to fruits, spices, resins, leaves, gums, balsams, and grasses, flowers are often essential because it's difficult to make perfume without floral essences. High-end luxury brands, such as Chanel, for instance, own their own flower fields to make sure they have enough products for their perfumes. Sometimes, animal products might be present in perfumes, like think hamburgers from sperm whales and musk from male deer. Because not all scents are always readily available in nature, synthetic chemicals might be used to mimic them. This can save the lives of animals that are killed for their oils and is also beneficial if there's a bad plant harvest. Extraction methods, it's the oils from flowers and plant material that are used to make perfume. To separate the oil from the plant parts, it must be extracted. There are various ways to do this. The easiest method is the expression, during which plants are basically squeezed until the oil releases. In flourage and maceration are other ways to extract plant oils. These methods use grease or warmed fats to extract the oils. You can also boil the plant parts or subject them to steam to get to the oils. This process is called steam distillation. Some manufacturers also use solvent extraction. During this method, plant parts are dissolved in benzene and exposed to ethyl alcohol, which is then burned off so the perfume oil remains. If you ever wonder why perfume is so expensive, keep in mind that a 15 milliliter bottle of French perfume requires the oil that's extracted from about 660 roses, blending the oils to create a certain perfume scent experts must do extensive testing and mixing it can take several years and hundreds of ingredients before they come to the desired formula this formula is used to blend the freshly extracted oils after blending the oils to get the desired scent alcohol is mixed into the concoction to dilute the ingredients the amount of alcohol that's added determines whether the liquid will be a cologne perfume or eau de toilette Cologne is the least potent of the three. It contains the most alcohol and up to 10% essential oils. Eau de Toilette has up to 15% essential oil and contains less alcohol than cologne. Perfume, which contains the least alcohol, has the strongest scent, with up to 40% essential oils. 
de-aging process, after the oils are extracted, blended, and mixed with alcohol, the concoction is ready for the aging process. During this period, the perfume is set aside in a dark, cool area. It stays here for several months to one year without being disturbed. The aging process helps bind the alcohol and oils together. After the aging process, an expert will test the scent to make sure that it's correct. Usually, the smell will be stronger than it was before the aging process. Any desired adjustment and additional blending can take place at this point. Perfume only ends up in department stores after it's been thoroughly tested to ensure that the scent is what it should be. The risky nature of perfumery. Thousands of flowers are needed to obtain just one pound of essential oils, and the annual yield is totally dependent on plentiful harvests. If the season's crop is destroyed by disease, it can affect perfume production. There are also problems associated with collecting natural animal oils. Animals once killed for the value of their oils are now endangered, such as the sperm whale. In addition, animal oils are both costly and difficult to extract. More and more, perfume manufacturers are favoring synthetic chemicals over natural oils, even though natural ingredients are still more desirable in the very finest perfumes. Tastes too have changed, and the modern consumer seems to prefer less concentrated forms of perfume. Both of these factors have brought the price of perfume down and encouraged more frequent use of scents in daily life. Perfume appreciation in the modern consumer There are a myriad of reasons why people wear perfume. For some, it boosts their sense of self-esteem and makes one feel more desirable for others, it is considered a badge of individuality that sets them apart from others. Perfume can alter moods and evoke pleasant memories. It can only be hoped that for whatever reason, anyone who understands how perfume is made may come to appreciate that special something that fills the air and alters everything you spray it on. The aging process High quality and pure perfumes are often aged for months or potentially even years after the scent has been blended. This is done to ensure that the proper scent has been created. Aging allows the different scents, or notes, to really blend together. Perfumes are made up of top notes that provide the scent with body as well as base notes which create an enduring fragrance. Quality Control Quality control is a vital aspect of the perfume manufacturing process. It ensures that the finished perfume doesn't contain any harmful or undesired products, some of which could even be banned. This way the brand's reputation, and more importantly public health, is protected. Natural ingredients can be difficult to harvest and some perfumes use natural animal oils which can also be troublesome to collect. Synthetic perfume has allowed perfumers to more easily create their scents and require less quality control. Thank you for watching. Max and Sons Parfume. If you like this video share it with your friends. To start smelling absolutely gorgeous. Don't forget to like, put any comments, regarding your concern in perfumes and fragrances, and we're happy to answer you or do a video for you. Subscribe and hit that bell. For you not to miss, any of my contents uploaded every week. See you again next time. Max and Sons Parfume. Even the Goddess will fall.